Let's pray before we begin. Lord please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask, Amen. Chapter 8 Now Benjamin begat Bela his firstborn, Ashbel the second, and Ahera the third, Noah the fourth, and Repha the fifth. And the sons of Bela were Adar, and Gera, and Abihud, and Abishua, and Naaman, and Ahoa, and Gera, and Shephuphan, and Huram. And these are the sons of Ehud. These are the heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Geba, and they removed them to Manahath. And Naaman, and Ahiah, and Gera, he removed them, and begat Uzzah, and Ahihud. And Shehareim begat children in the country of Moab, after he had sent them away. Hushim and Beera were his wives. And he begat of Hodesh his wife, Jobab, and Zibia, and Mesha, and Malcolm, and Ziaz, and Shekiah, and Murmur. These were his sons, heads of the fathers. And of Hushim he begat Abitab and Elpeo. The sons of Elpeo, Eber, and Misham, and Shamed, who built Ono and Lod with the towns thereof, Beriah also, and Shema, who were heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Ijalon, who drove away the inhabitants of Gath. And Ahio, Sheshach, and Jeremoth, and Zebadiah, and Arad, and Ada, and Michael, and Ispa, and Joha, the sons of Beriah. And Zebadiah, and Meshullam, and Hezekiah, and Heber, Ishmerai also, and Jezliah, and Jobab, the sons of Elpeo. And Jacob, and Zikri, and Zabdi, and Elienai, and Zilthai, and Eliel, and Adiah, and Beriah, and Shimrath, the sons of Shimhai. And Ishpan, and Heber, and Eliel, and Abdon, and Zikri, and Hanan, and Hananiah, and Elam, and Antothijah, and Iphediah, and Penuel, the sons of Sheshach. And Shamsherai, and Shehariah, and Athaliah, and Jerusiah, and Eliah, and Zikri, the sons of Jeroham. These were heads of the fathers by their generations, chief men. These dwelt in Jerusalem. And at Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Maacah, and her firstborn son, Abdon, and Zer, and Kish, and Baal, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ahio, and Zacher. And Mikloth begat Shimea, and these also dwelt with their brethren in Jerusalem over against them. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Malchishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbaal. And the son of Jonathan was Meribbaal, and Meribbaal begat Micah. And the sons of Micah were Python, and Melech, and Teriah, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jehoada, and Jehoada begat Alameth, and Asmaveth, and Zimri. And Zimri begat Moza, and Moza begat Binea, Rapha was his son, Eliasa his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons whose names are these, Azrikam, Bokaru, and Ishmael, and Sheariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel. And the sons of Eshek his brother were Ulam his firstborn, Jehush the second, and Eliphalet the third. And the sons of Ulam were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons, and sons' sons, and hundred and fifty. All these are of the sons of Benjamin. Matthew Henry Commentary on First Chronicles chapter 8 Here is a larger list of Benjamin's tribe. We may suppose that many things in these genealogies, which to us seem difficult, abrupt, and perplexed, were plain and easy at that time, and fully answered the intention for which they were published. Many great and mighty nations then were in being upon earth, and many illustrious men, whose names are now wholly forgotten, while the names of multitudes of the Israel of God are here kept in everlasting remembrance. The memory of the just is blessed. Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day.